Welcome to another tour of one of my abandoned properties, abandoned builds. One of those builds that either got to the crashing point of giving up or I just got bored and moved on. Regardless of what it was, I decided to maybe start doing little tours of some of these properties before I scrap them and delete them forever. And this is one of them. This is my Spectacle Island build. And this was a work in progress, very close to being finished, but a lot of little tiny details to add in. But uh, as you can see, like in a lot of my builds, a fortified wall. Most of the time I just do the wall because it allows me to build up and make areas down below to make, you know, basements and areas uh, down below, which this definitely has. So the idea was to have a very heavily fortified wall that surrounded this entire property. Not entirely you can't get in because these stairs here would lead up into the main property. But as you see, just walls that uh, surround the whole property here. And that was the whole idea is, uh, you know, for protection, but also to allow me to build floors underneath. Anyways, uh, it's not closed off because I'm still building and allows me to do the place anywhere tool out here, which sometimes only will grab stuff in the dirt. So I need to build things here and bring them in through the side entrance. And once again, this is an older build that was before I got the wireless electricity mod, which helps a lot. So I had to wire this whole property. The idea was that we have this giant area here that would have a walkway, not necessarily security, maybe just, you know, a walkway around the property. This is kind of the original version of my other build, the hidden homestead, because I wanted to have the shack property complex here on the island, but down below have a nicer, more upgraded vault down below. This here is the open property with the walkway on the edge of the wall looking out over on the water. And as you see, uh, it's pretty open. Not a whole lot here, but uh, be a nice little area to have, almost like your own mini park in a way. At least that was the concept. There's one of my access ladders for building that wouldn't normally be there but if I need to go down there and uh, you know place anywhere grab an object to bring up so the concept was this is built here on Spectacle Island it's a nice spot a self-sustaining spot with food water everything you would need and use the old junky walls to keep with a little bit of the lore that uh, this is all built from scraps, but also give that illusion for anyone that comes onto the island that uh, it is just built with scraps and whatnot. So that, that was the idea. So that's, that's the idea for the junkie wall. So why don't we come up and head up to the main residence here, up these stairs to lead into the main garage, which has a power armor workstation area with some stolen Raider power armor. And the workbench this is the original spot of the original workbench right there that I built out from. Lots of junk, just storage, you know, things a scavenger might hang on to, hoard, I guess you would say, hoard along with all the discarded Raider power armor components all thrown out here in the back. And once again, the walls here allows you to have this nice raised landscape uh, property here in the back overlooking the water. So the work shed, all your supplies, very lived in work shed, which would lead here to the main cabin. Pretty basic cabin here. A little work desk here, which would lead back 
small kitchen area, little sleep area here, which would also lead out to this back area to the power shed here, antenna. Water generators here for your uh, your greenhouse for growing all your food and a little shed here which would be for storing all your fertilizer and some more gardening components and would also lead on the path that leads all the way around your property here on Spectacle Island and right back to where we came in here. So the idea was this would be the main property. We come around here, nice little patio, nice view, nice shade, all the trees, really like that. So if we head back in the house, and as I mentioned before, if you've seen my Hidden Homestead build or my Hidden Homestead uh, open house tour, this is a very similar idea that actually inspired me to do that build. Once again, the secret door that will lead us down to our vault. So we'd have the vault door here, and as you come in, there'd be like a security desk here. That was the idea that this would be security office, all camera monitors all along the wall here, you know, just for someone to keep track of that. This would be the main power room that would power everything on the island. So two of these are actually functioning generators that are running power to the whole island. Like I said, this is before the wireless, so I had to wire everything and needed a couple. This would then lead into a mega computer room. This is gonna have more stuff, maybe even uh, some uh, other offices or experimental chem lab type stuff. And this is part of that power unit that is uh, sticking out of the ground up above. But I thought it was really cool and worked well to stick through the ground here. So at one point I had a bunch of settlers here and these were their sleeping stations until I could build actual rooms for them. But the idea would be that uh, they would stay full time on Spectacle Island and I was gonna create kind of like a little uh, community. And this is just a work area here where I could grab the Place Anywhere stuff that I wasn't able to grab in here and bring it in. Added this little feature here, this little see-through floor, maybe to show some more you know, components. No real reason other than I thought it looked kind of cool. Head back out. Once again, this would be all lined with more computer stuff. Uh, I believe at the time I also had the reduced grass mod, which got rid of this stuff here. So they do not have that mod activated at this point. That's why we have lots of grass sticking through the floor, but whatever. So that's the idea. This would be like the power room, the tech room, the lab area. So as you come in, this would be like a main living area too. So this would be a living room, entertaining area, I guess you would say. So you'd have a big old kitchen with everything you need. There's the idea there is to have the kitchen, which overlooked this massive area here, which is gonna be the big power armor, workstation, garage, slash uh, underground living area. A bunker where you could stow away for a very long time. Thought that was kind of cool to overlook and see all that raised ceiling. So this would have all my power armor. At least that was the idea at the time, is to have workstations for every power armor, tools, everything down there. And this cool little area here, it's kind of more of like an in-house 
diorama with the rad scorpion there. And also while you're living down here in the bunker, give you a little more uh, vegetation, make you feel like you're a little more up top, I guess. This would lead into an arcade. I've always got to build an arcade in my houses. So, you know, for entertainment purposes, it'd be nice to have an arcade. And then this hallway would lead into another guest residence or main residence. I was thinking this might be the main living area, main bedroom area. So this would be open concept, maybe add some walls, but this would be the bathroom here. Maybe some kind of kitchen. This is exposed access for building uh, purposes, but yep, this is going to be like the main bedroom area here just off of the arcade so we'll head back into the main entertaining living area this would have the couches and maybe even a TV just a place to entertain people hang out that's not necessarily in your living area so I'll head down the hall here this would lead down to another storage room. This would be the main massive storage area. So would store weapons, uh, food, all kinds of things. So that's what this area would be, is a giant storage area that is kind of thinking of having maybe shelves going all the way up with ladders accessing that. So you could store a lot down here. So that's what this was going to be. As you head back up here, once again, this would lead to another room. Wasn't sure what this was gonna be, but it's here. And this once again has building access to the outside. So eventually that would be closed in, closed off. This could be living quarters for some of the people that work here. And then these main stairs would lead down to the main power armor work area, which we saw through the living room area window there. And this would be the massive workstation of all, all your armor here. And that would lead to, I was thinking a lab, nice lab area here with an office just off of here. So that would overlook all kinds of experiments and stuff, chem stations. head back out so this was going to be a giant work area as you can see but also I wanted to keep it open so if it was a place you were say stranded underground for a long time or wanted to you had everything including a little area here to make you feel a little more outside that was the concept of this then down into another entertaining area I was thinking maybe some couches or maybe a little uh, bar or something there which would lead into a residence which would be more of a main residence living room area here maybe office office area here built-in rock and vegetation I always like doing that once again unfinished I'd probably clean up the ceiling here maybe with some all white and that would lead up into the living area or main living area so you got your own kitchen kitchen table side window here looking out a bedroom entertaining area couch hangout kitchen bar and a nice vantage point of the work area and this little outdoor underground vault. Your own master bathroom, complete with double sinks, shower, toilet, everything you would need. Head back down. So this would be all furnished here. Like I said, probably office, nice your own office area. Now one of the challenges I had, now that I think about it, 
was this area is so big and the ceiling is so tall is lighting trying to light all of this uh, was hard so I think what I'd probably do now is I do my little inset uh, capital city uh, DLC type thing has some lights that you can attach to say a short wall like these are inset little short walls here down but you attach those and then you emplace them inside the concrete here and it does really lighten up this area and you just don't see the lights because I don't want to junk this place up with uh, ton of lights. I've tried to with the ceiling lights here, but those pretty much only light up the ceiling, but not this area down here. So I'd have to figure out ways to light this. That was coming in the next build. But as you can tell, this is unfinished. So I don't know if I will ever finish this because this here, this whole power armor workstation, all the garage, this would be a major build in itself because I really wanted to have it lore friendly in the, in the fact that there are tools and junk just everywhere. Every type of tool and workstation available for armor, uh, power armor, weapons, you name it. Everything is located here. So that's what this was going to be. So this is pretty much the gist of this whole underground vault thing here, unfinished, but uh, it has potential. And now that I'm re-walking through this, I haven't really gone to this build in almost a year. I am inspired to finish it. It just seems overwhelming at this point. And the build limit is already really maxed out as far as uh, when it starts to crash, mainly because all this up here, up above, I've used so much stuff, trees and whatnot, that it's really gonna make it hard to not start crashing. And I'm not sure, like I'm not an expert on this stuff, but I'm not sure if adding all the trees, you know, cause they're animated, the leaves are moving. And if I start adding a ton of trees, it really starts uh, bogging down the frame rate. I wonder if that might have something to do with it. So maybe putting trees in last might be an option, but Overall, you get an idea of my Spectacle Island build, which wasn't intended to be this big. And I say this every time I do a build, is I am going to make my own little settlement here, and then it just keeps adding on and adding on and winds up being this gigantic, complex base. So one of these days, it's hard though, because this island, I come up with ideas and I just want to keep going. And that's what happens with this particular build, is the island is so big, you just want to use it all. But uh, it will never allow me to do that. So that's uh, all I've got finished on this Spectacle Island build. The semi built or I don't know what we're going to call this. Check out some of my other builds that actually are finished in my Let's Build It series, and definitely the open house tours, which are finished properties that I've done. But for this one, it will remain unfinished, and I don't know if it will ever be completed. If it is, I will definitely post it. But for now, thanks for watching, and until next time.